Hi guys, I have um, another review here of this puzzle brand called Pomegranate. It's an art piece puzzle and um, this was priced at $21.90 to be exact after taxes at Barnes and Noble. I've always wanted to um, review this puzzle and um, I decided to review this while working on it. I still have uh, roughly I think um, eight eight or more pieces to put in but um, I'm doing this review as I put um, the last uh, pieces <laughs> okay so I have read a lot of um, nice reviews on uh, pomegranate puzzles um, and I wanted to try it so badly although I have a stack of um, unsolved puzzles over there, I decided to uh, just um, feature this first because, um, you know, I was really, really excited to do this, guys. Okay, now, uh, to be honest, guys, um, this is, uh, this has so far been um, one of the worst puzzle pieces I've built. I thought this was going to be... Um, I thought this was going to be uh, really, really pretty easy, but um, not, no other puzzle has given me much grief <laughs> besides the Kodak <laughs> and the last puzzle seesaw that uh, I, I just um, reviewed. Okay, so this, I thought this puzzle was going to be an easy peasy piece <laughs> because there are only three um, colors. And the theme is just so whimsical. So I was like, ah, I can do that. Um, uh, I can do that in a breeze. But boy, I was so, so wrong, okay? And um, I decided to um, do this review as I'm putting the last pieces because this is frustrating me. And if all pomegranate pieces are this quality, then I'm not going to buy it anymore. Just because I don't know what's happening. Um, I have heard that some uh, puzzle pieces uh, from pomegranate, um, the quality is affected by who, whatever artist or whatever theme you're going to buy. Um, I'm not really sure, but I was pretty, pretty excited about this. They have standard cut and... Um, they have the thickness is um, what, what I would say acceptable and ideal, but the clicking mechanism, the uh, you know the interlocking thing, it's just I don't know. I have moved this puzzle a lot of times. I have to constantly you know push it together, and it just it, I don't know. It just explodes every time I move one piece. I I can I can uh, move like. Uh, practically put like, two or three pieces together but other than that I don't know what's happening guys it's not really really snugged so I don't know I have been I have been constantly flattening it out as in and of course if you flatten one part you have to flatten everything else and then you have to push put another piece and then do the same thing and that is just giving me a lot of anxiety <laughs> <laughs> so so uh so there you go now let me see okay so i want you to witness what <laughs> i'm going through see okay it does click but uh i, I don't know I'm, I'm not sure what's going on with this puzzle guys it's like okay see you have to really really push it all the way in to flatten it it just comes up it's like I don't know it's like a row that hasn't been finished and then suddenly moisture sips in or rain sips in and it just you know suddenly opens up i don't know that's just how <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know if i'm making any sense at this point but they have um yeah they don't have any crazy pieces but guys do not judge by the picture alone i am just so wrong the last time I built the um, 
the um, seesaw puzzle I did not expect it to be difficult but then you know because I, I just love vintage jewelry but then I, I was so wrong because it had so many just too many things overwhelming things going on and this one I thought since there are only three prominent colors um, green pink and violet I thought it was gonna be easy okay guys the sorting was I would say um, quite a bit easy but when I was going through it I was like oh geez what should I do because there are like you know bubbles bubbles everywhere and I'm like okay what should I do this is the third day and um, I've never been so I don't know I, I've been just stuck on this um, piece for a very long time it's just um, embarrassing <laughs> okay so um and it's it's quite difficult it's 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 quite difficult oh see because like that piece it doesn't have have any great part here but then that's just a bubble so it, it would just occur you know out of uh, nowhere so it's it's this is a very very challenging piece and i was um I was complaining <laughs> I, I wanted to like you know just uh, um, do another thing because okay so this is the last piece guys I hope this works okay it, it did work all right okay so this is from Daniel Miriam Bubble Street it's an art piece puzzle and it is a 1000 piece and um, yeah I finished it I don't know what to do with this <laughs> okay so um yeah look at that look at that i just love whimsical uh, pictures it's very very matte okay so this is very quality i would say the box is very very sturdy it's very thick it's really really quality uh, i have uh, you know i have high praise high praises for this uh, box alone it's really nice and the picture is as you can see it's really really great but boy this is the hardest puzzle i've i've ever built and um and the cut standard cut um the the thickness is okay the there's not a lot of puzzle dust i will uh, i i was very impressed there's not a lot of puzzle dust it's like literally none i would say <laughs> and does it come with anything inside oh yeah yeah no. Oh yeah, it just says thank you. We love uh, connect with us. Puzzle love by tagging your pictures. Oh, I should do that. Okay, pomegranate. Okay, maybe I should do that. And they have a very nice. Uh, it has a ziplock thing, but it was really really hard to open this. Um, you know, I, you have to cut it. I didn't cut it the right way. So uh, you can put your pieces back here. So it's really nice because it has this ziplock thing. And um, yeah, it's just that I am not sure if it's the felt that I have, the, the, the table liner that, that has contributed to it being so difficult to, you know, put together. Um, I, I, I don't know. It's not really, really snug. And let, let me just give you an example okay let, let me see if i could um okay let me show you the entire picture first okay so this is the entire picture it's very hard it was very challenging and this literally gave me a headache i wanted to quit as soon as i put the the edges together so let me see uh, they don't interlock pretty pretty well let me show you that see you cannot transfer this you have to do it like piece by piece i don't know what's going on and I, though i did not see any lifting pieces see that's it you, you can transfer but they just separate see I'm trying to pick it up together 
See, I can only lift one or two. You're lucky. So you just have to have a, like a support every time you transfer this. I'm not very, very impressed. And the price on this one is the same as that of a Raven's Burger. So um, maybe I'll try the other pomegranate pieces or pomegranate puzzles. I don't know, but I'm just really, really very upset and disappointed. <laughs> But anyway, though, I'm glad I was able to finish it. Uh, the picture is still really nice, though. Okay, so uh, so there you go. Um, I would rate this as, I don't know, very challenging, very hard. But uh, I would rate this as very, very frustrating because the pieces don't interlock very, very well. Yeah, so there you go. Bye.